Hey everybody, welcome back to another game. All right, let's see if we can do better today. Playing the London system here, the usual stuff. I think the early c4 is the move here, but if he had his knight out on f6, I'd be tempted to go knight e5, but because he doesn't, I can attack his queen this way. I actually kind of think I prefer doing that. Hmm, or do I? I think the engine usually recommends just trading off here. But I'm going to be wasting a lot of moves. I've always wanted to try like bishop e5 and offer the trade this way. And then it might sort of force him to push a pawn f6. I think I'm just going to try that. Yeah, so this is, I don't know. I don't know if that's any better or any worse, really. But. Now I kind of want to leave the knight here and just harass this knight. Because it doesn't really have a good square to jump to afterwards. Hmm. Should I recapture here or just take? Honestly, kind of want to play c4 for some reason, but just going to castle. He decides to castle as well. I wonder if knight g4 is like an idea here for some reason. Just develop the knight here. Could maybe start pushing up the e file. Playing against Norman D from Philippines. This looks kind of bugged. It's like going the wrong way. Whoops. So now this um, h7 square is kind of weak, so I kind of want to just see if I can line up the queen and go for the mate. Hmm. Okay, so he blocks off that idea. Oh, Ampassant. I don't get... I don't think I've ever played an Ampassant. <laughs> oh, I just want to play Ampassant. <laughs> uh, hopefully he takes with the pawn here. He doesn't go for it. <laughs> That's okay. It was fun to play it. <laughs> Almost tempted to push up f4 here. For some reason. I don't know why, but that just seems interesting. I think there's c4 here. Getting the bishop out and looking for the check this way, forcing his king over, maybe. Hmm. C4. C4 is a really interesting idea. If I go f3, I get forked. 
Can't go knight of three. E4. I think E4 is losing. Basically, I'm going to be trading a bishop for a pawn, which is not favorable. I'm really tempted to go C4. I think for now, though, I want to go either rook C1 or pawn C4. He can play E4. It'll just force me to move the bishop back to c2. I think I'm just going to initiate this. My pieces are more or less developed, minus the queen. That's actually kind of a bummer. I'll probably just leave my bishop back here so I can protect the pawn. He did block me in very good, though. That's kind of why I wanted to break up this pawn structure here. I'm just trying to figure out if he's setting up something for h2. I don't believe he has knight g4. Because I'll be winning that square if he goes knight g4. Seems like rook c1 is my best bet here. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe he'll sack a bishop to open this up. I don't know. I think I'm just going to try rook c1. He goes for the exposed pawn back here. Am I missing something? It kind of seems like he's trying to set up for like the knight queen checkmate on h2, but g4 is protected, so I don't really know what the plan there is. I guess I'll just start this. Okay. F3 is really tempting, but it just seems really bad. Kind of want to just go on h3. Let the king breathe. Try to prevent, uh, add another defender to g4. Don't know if that's very good or not, though. The knight's in a bit of a rough spot because of this pawn.
Maybe I reroute or something. Boom, boom, boom. Something like that, perhaps. Hmm. Ideas, ideas, ideas. You see, part of me wants to just move the knight over. So maybe we can even just like offer the exchange of queens in the center here. Uh, but then I'm going to be like disconnecting my pawns and making a pawn island. Maybe that's not very good. I think for now I'll just try to improve the position a little bit. You know, moving a knight to g3 is not like the best improvement. But maybe it's just some kind of improvement. Am I going to regret knight g3? That's my biggest question right now. Queen d4 seems bad after we do the exchange. I'm going to have like these isolated pawns. Seems like it's going to hurt the pawn structure. Thinking about like bishop b5, but it just seems kind of like a wacky move. There's always pawn f4 to attack his queen. Mm, that's an idea. Might not be the best idea, but I think I'm just going to go knight g3 for now. Wants to go for the exchange. I don't have to take this exchange. Um, I do have these two squares that I can go to. Mm. I guess I'll just go for the exchange. Reason being is um, I'm thinking maybe I can trade rooks off over here on c8. I guess pawn f4 is not good because I get lacrosanted. <laughs> I guess I do have a very simple move of just attacking his knight, or uh, excuse me, his rook here. Kind of forces his rook to uh, waste a move here. And go attack this pawn. I think the rook on the e file is kind of bad at this point. I was hoping that I could start pushing the e pawn and breaking up this way, but that just never ended up happening. Hmm. I could go like rook c6. It's going to be really for e easy for him to defend that. I'm trying to find something a little bit better. Hmm. No, I don't have this h5 trade anymore he just if we trade off knights here he'll just be winning a queen mm. queen d5 i guess maybe i should go like rook c2 and try to stack the rooks maybe
Hmm. I don't know. I'll look for the rook stack, I guess. That's a very loose rook back here. Still want to go queen b5. Good move by him there. Good move, good move. Could go pin his knight with the rook. Be kind of a weird move. Um, could try to maybe win this pawn by pushing up. Maybe I should try to break through these pawns. If he takes the pawn, I just recapture. If he doesn't take it, I can still just recapture with the queen on a4. Would I actually win if I did the triple stack on the C file here? Let's think check, takes. No, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, it's a free pawn. Am I getting forked here or something? Isn't that just a free pawn? Am I missing something here? Trying to figure out what happens when he goes uh, knight d3. Knight d3 might be kind of like an annoying move. Hmm, I have the free pawn. I'm going to be forced to move the c1 rook. Can't really protect that with anything else. And where am I going to move it to? I don't know. I guess for now, I'll just take the free pawn. I'm fully expecting, yeah, rook, uh, yeah. Could go something like queen d4, offer the trade, and then move the rook, maybe. 
Maybe out here to the B, B file, move it. Am I getting forked here? Which one of these moves that I really need to worry about? Oh, I see what's going on. I think he's trying to go after the, uh, the F2 square. Basically has three attackers. I have two defenders, so I just need to go protect F2. That was actually a pretty good move by him. I almost didn't notice that. I think he would have just won there. I think if I was him, I would probably push up the D pawn by now, but that's just me, I think. I thought that was a pretty good move by him, though, I'll be honest. I want to offer the trade, but at the same time, the queen trade here. But I don't want to allow his pawn to advance this way. Hmm. I think if I go a5, I'm losing a pawn. I do have check, but it loses a rook. I think I'll just go a5 and then come back. Either d2 or e1. Probably d2. This queen is in a really annoying spot. <laughs> I don't really have a great way to kick it out. Maybe the queen trade here. I actually think I'll just offer the queen trade here. Yeah. Now it's a little bit tough because he has a lot of attackers coming through here, but I think I have to go for the check. Right. I either lose this pawn, go for the check, and hope he blocks in with the rook, basically to just remove one attacker from the F2 square, since I only have two defenders on it. So I'm going to hope he blocks in here, uh, which he doesn't. It's kind of a bummer. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to win this a square here. It's a lot of attackers on F2. I guess I could push up F3.
Let's either lose this F pawn or lose this uh, A pawn. I don't really want to lose the F pawn. I think F3 is the play here. Yeah, I'm going to get overwhelmed on F2 if I just leave it here. Uh, I guess I could go... Ooh. I could go H1. I'm just going to go H1. This loses a pawn, but oh well. I also have a D8 here. Attack his D pawn. Interesting. I was not expecting that. He's going to be looking for mate here once the rook kind of gets smothered. So I'll just let the king breathe here. Yeah, my king would have nowhere to escape there if we traded rooks off on a b1. And go boom, boom, boom. That would be mate. There's only, let's see, two, uh, two attackers here on the f2 square. He'll probably just defend this with his knight, I imagine. Also fine. I bring the knight back out. My knight can start to get out here, which is nice. <laughs> back to this problem now. Um... Uh, I still have two defenders here, so I think I'm just going to go try to find something with my knight. I have like boom, 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 wins the pawn. If he wants to trade his knight off, so be it. That sucks. Do win a pawn now. Yeah, I expected that. Uh, the knight's under attack here. I gotta be careful. How does he protect that pawn? I don't think he can actually protect it. Gonna be a double attack once I get this uh, knight out here on e4. It's a very valuable pawn. That was knights under attack. That was a really good move, I feel like. That was very valuable to get that. That was knights under attack, so he either just has to move it or you know, do something else. I don't think he should have initiated the trade here. Now I have to move this. Mm. I'll move back, I guess. Goes for the pawn. I just want to protect this pawn. No, oh, that's actually just uh, hanging a knight. Oh, thanks for the pre-moves, man. Appreciate you. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, let's do something. Cut his king off. Trade everything off. Protect this pawn. Run this pawn up the board. Um. Let's do this in a sane way where I don't stalemate. I just want to do a very simple ladder with the uh, queen and the rook over here. I'm not trying to do anything fancy here. I just, I'm trying to avoid stalemate, that's all. Okay, and then queen a8 is going to be mate. Yeah, cool. Yeah, GG. I think he um, kind of threw the game when he hung the knight. I think he was getting a little bit impatient and started pre-moving things that he shouldn't have pre-moved. Like when he put the rook out on g2, that was very clearly uh, a pre-move, it looked like. Yeah, that... Let's see how fast he made this move. No, sorry, man, I don't have time for a rematch. So he made this move in 2.7 seconds, and he had like 13 minutes on the clock. He just hung a knight. Um, and then he made the next move in 0.1 seconds. So he pre-moved this. I think he was expecting me to play something else. Um, well, let's check out the numbers, though. Mm, sorry, don't have time for a rematch. Yeah, it was very up, even up until this point, and then he just blunders it. And then he just blundered. Basically blundered eight points worth of material in two moves. So it was going to be pretty hard to come back from that. But he played really well up until that point. Um, I want to see what the engine says about knight h1. I was really curious about that. This was actually the best move here, yeah. I just had to recognize the fact that this pawn was attacked three times and in, in the current state there was only one two defenders so i kind of figured it was just important to add another defender to this uh this valuable pawn here so normally i wouldn't try to put a knight into a corner like that but i think in this specific position it had to be done it was either that or just try to push up it looks like pushing up was pretty bad because he would have just won that. Right? And then he wins the pawn here. Even then, this is pretty even, shockingly. But uh, yeah. GG Normandy from Philippines. Thanks for the game. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.